everyone. Myself, I am Uma and I have overall eight plus years of IT experience as a data analyst and four years of experience as a corporate trainer. I'm a Microsoft certified data analyst currently working at Microsoft. Hello everyone. Welcome to KSA Data Vision YouTube channel. In today's session, we will see about the updates of September month 2023. So we all know that Microsoft team, they release updates on Power BI tool every month. Every month they come up with some new enhancement, new releases, which makes our work easy, right? Some exciting features they release and uh, this September month also they have released uh, multiple updates. So let's see what all the updates which they have released. Okay. So first thing they have made some upgrade to the tool Power BI desktop tool .NET framework to 4.7.2 to newer version. So if you want to download the latest version, right? You can go through the website, Microsoft website, Microsoft.com. And here you can just choose your option English and you can download the latest version. Power BI Desktop, how to download all this installation instructions and what is the version of the tool and um, the file, everything. Just if you click on download, you will be able to just dot exe file will be downloaded and if you double click on it the latest power bi desktop you can use it this is from the official website you can download the power bi desktop and here there are multiple releases okay so all these are the updates which happened in this month now let's see what all the updates first thing they have upgraded the power bi desktop as i told you just download it from the microsoft web, uh, web version because the older framework net will not be supported after this date so please upgrade uh, to the latest desktop and coming to the reporting part mobile layout interactive canvas so this also in the power bi desktop itself they have made it interactive so what exactly is this let me show this so this is the report, right? If you see here, so initially we used to see only the report, right? In the desktop view, if you observe at the bottom, you can see now both the views. One is the desktop layout view and the other one is the mobile layout. So this is the recent change. So if I click on mobile layout, see this automatically it turns to a mobile layout and we can here itself we can make it we can check it how the report actually looks in the mobile in the desktop how it looks and if we same report is shared with the users when they are opening the report in the mobile how it looks like and you can adjust all this whatever the visuals you want to add delete and also this interactiveness also you can see here if i select any region how it is interacting how the scroller works so all this interactiveness they have incorporated in the mobile layout and coming to the next smart narrative improvements. So we also know that there is a artificial intelligence related visual which is called smart narrative. So in this smart narrative also they have made some uh, enhancements. Okay, some improvements they have made it here and coming to the modeling part. We can edit our model directly in the Power BI service as well. So this is the update which they have given. So if you just publish the re same report in the Power BI service here also you will find the data model and uh, you can edit your model directly in the Power BI service. And coming back to the other important uh, features which they have released is a data model part and um, even we can edit this uh, linguistic relationships in question and answers. OK, so this is again an artificial intelligence related visual question and answer. So here also we can edit the relationship. So for that in detail, they have given some example products means how you can relate it like a books. So one simple example they have given it so you can go through this in detail in the description box. We will also share this uh, Microsoft official website. So just go through this and um, in deeply you will understand this example how you can uh, understand this feature which they have provided in question and answer setup and also they have made some DAX function changes to min x and max x. So what parameter optional variant parameter they have introduced and what it does for a mixed variant data type. So all these details you can see it here. All these details are provided here. 
So here also you can see an example. Clearly they have mentioned, see here multiple data types, one Boolean data type, integer, date data type, all these details they have provided. So this example also they have clearly provided here and edit relationships. So the relationship when we create right between the different tables. So how you can do that? So in the properties pane here also they have made some exciting feature release. So we can go through this as well and uh, coming to the data connectivity. We all know that Power BI can connect to 99 plus data sources. So different data sources. Now they have updated one connector updated for SAP HANA. OK, to this also they have made some connector update as well as one new connector they have introduced for Amplify metrics. And uh, coming to the service Power BI service. Row level security test as role improvement. So for testing that right, we have a flexibility now to choose in which report what is the role and we can test it. The member like if a particular person has to view only particular region data, how you can uh, test that RLS. So this feature also they have made some updates for this and uh, coming to this mobile. They are supporting AAD shared device mode. So this is still in preview mode, so you can also go through this and for developers Git integration. OK, so what is this Git integration? Git is nothing but it is a version controlling tool. So in most of the organization, they use this as a version controlling and um, they commit all the changes which they make to the code, all the project code, they commit into this Git. So for this, initially it used to support only two items, that is Power BI reports and Power BI dataset. And now they have added one new item that is called paginated reports. Now paginated reports also supported with Git integration. So with respect to Git, all this uh, branching, a checkout option, committing the changes, committing the code in the workspace. So all this in detail they have provided here. You can go through this details as well. Git integration, how to switch the branch, how to add that branching of the project, all the details in detail they have provided. And uh, coming to the visualization, see there are a lot many new visuals which they have introduced in the app source. Right. If we want to use any custom visuals from where we will get this all the custom visuals just we can go to this is Power BI desktop. So this is the report. Just if you go to this three dots and click on get more visuals here you can see all the custom visuals right more here only 30 plus visuals will be there in the default session and from this custom visuals you will find multiple visuals different visuals provided by different vendors. OK, so here they have introduced a lot many new visuals, which is change chart, pro cycle, apex milestone, dot chart, funnel chart by power Viz, date picker. So all these visuals, you can just see the visual name, how to use this visual also. For the first time you are using just the same procedure, just go to three dots, get more visuals and here you can type. For example, date picker, right? Just type this one. As soon as you type here, you can see all the visuals which are available here. So you can just choose it. Date picker by Power Vis, Power Visualization. Just if you click on that visual itself in detail, they will provide the details. What exactly is this visualization? See, this is the date picker which is provided by Power Vis. Okay, so these people are the publishers who are providing this visual. So in detail what this visual does in detail they have given along with one example what all the key features of this visual how to use this visual in detailed explanation they have provided you can easily use this date picker as well. So all these visuals in the same way. So if you want to get this into Power BI just you should click on add just as soon as you click on add it will automatically come here. From here you can use the report. See the visual is successfully imported. As soon as you see the message here you can see the visual is imported to the Power BI desktop. So from here you can choose your visuals, drag and drop the required fields and you can start using that visuals. So all these are the new visuals which they have improvised. 
new visuals, completely new visuals, change chart, all this apex milestone, dot chart, funnel chart, date picker, bar chart, word cloud by power viz. OK, so uh, most of you all uh, might be already knowing the word cloud where we have multiple categorical values, how you, we will represent using the word cloud. But previously, whatever the word cloud was there, it was provided by Microsoft Corporation, whereas this new visuals, all this list of visuals which you are seeing here, right? All these are new visuals. So this is introduced by PowerVis. OK, power visualization. So let's see how it looks like. If you see here, right? This is the word cloud which we have already used and the newly introduced. This visual is word cloud by PowerVis. Here you have not only this see same similar to word cloud only, but you are seeing some different shape, right? It looks like an apple shape. If you don't want this shape and you want to use some different shape, you can just go to settings and in settings you can see all these options. See shapes are there. If you need some different like uh, this trophy shape. You just select the trophy, click on apply. See now the shape has changed it to trophy. So this is the new visual that is same word cloud by PowerVis, whereas this previous one that is word cloud by Microsoft Corporation. So this is the difference between these two visuals. And so you can explore all these visuals. Just go to uh, app source and just uh, add it and you can use this. And also one more new visual that is B swarm chart. OK. So what this actually chart does it? If you see this example, you will easily understand. OK, so B swarm chart. If you take this here, one mandatory field is B category. OK, so in this you will have multiple axis, X, X axis, Y axis and B category field. So if you choose this one, how it will represent the data. See how the data representation it is showing like a B. So the here one more example they have given here. Bubble size showing the top millionaires of the world and their net worth. So even images you can add here and see how it looks like. So in formatting options, what all they have introduced, all these details they have given. OK, so this is also one of the interesting chart which you can explore B worms. So I have plotted that as well as here. Here if you see right country wise. This is the chart which I have imported from the app source and here you can see country wise total population I have taken here. So this is how the representation of bees warm chart. And apart from this, they have also um, given some updates on the time based data down drill down time series for already we would have seen right drill drill down. Um, Donut chart, drill down pie chart, drill down bar chart, multiple charts. Now there is one more chart for time series. Drill down time series pro. So this is how it looks. Normal stack and cluster. If you cluster it, how it looks 100% proportion zero stack. OK, so this is introduced by zoom charts. So this also you can explore this from the app source. And so what all the main features of this they have given here on chart interactions, full customization, all this. And uh, there is also one more chart called echo planning. This also is available from the app source. When I say app source, you can just go to these three dots, get more visuals. And from here you can import that. So in this visual also. It empowers the business users with the right back capabilities. Advanced planning, forecasting, budget, project management and analysis. So in detail or how it performs the row calculations, column calculations, how we can define our calculations. All these details in detail they have given here echo planning. So this also you can just go through this. Details. OK, this example, just if you read this example and see this and just to get hands on as well, just go here, get the visual and you can drag and drop the required fields. You will be able to understand this visual. And also one more chart called Zebra BI charts. OK, so for this also they have made some user experience interactive as much as possible. So they have made this. So this is how this chart looks like. And these are all the 
settings, uh, category settings, settings, legend settings, how to use this, they have given here clearly. And word cloud, word cloud also, as I have shown you, you can shape the shapes, which I have shown you right here, how to change different shapes, the same representation, country wise total population, instead of showing as a plain text like this, we can choose different uh, shapes for the visual. So multiple options are available, not only shapes, word styling, color shapes, ranking, conditional formatting also we can use this. See the different shapes, see here, bird shape, flower shape, dog shape, animal shape, different shapes we can use it. And also one more chart called Inno false charts. Okay, so this is also very interactive visual where uh, it, it actually provides a variety of interactive features. So bar along with the waterfall comes and here you can also use the drill down history as well. So all this it uh, comes under Inno fall charts. This also you can get it from the app source and in detailed about this chart, what waterfalls uh, drill, uh, drill down history feature, what this tracks and what are the comparison features, interactiveness, all this you can find it. And one more interesting chart is hierarchy chat by MAQ software. Okay, so this hierarchy chart also, if you see uh, this right organization chart, we will have multiple departments. Right? One, the top level department from the CEO, next director, manager, executive, engineer, and then the designer. So how the hierarchy looks like. So one example they have clearly given here, how you can use this chart and what are the features of this chart color code adjusting the card interacting with the card zoom and reposition all these are available also in power bi we can use the themes also right under view if you see you have multiple themes you can select these themes or you can also choose this accessible themes power bi themes or you can browse for new themes you can customize your current theme and you can also choose uh, from the gallery how the themes you can use all these options are available here so here they have introduced something called power bi json report theme generated by bi bi if you click on this right easily you will uh, it it will redirect to that power bi theme generated so why they have released this is it is actually a new tool if you click here right it offers some user friendly interface so how you can select your colors how you can generate your own json themes so all this you can use using this tool okay you can choose how your colors should look like what all the trending combinations manually also you can select your theme colors and if you want to download this, you can download the Power BI from here. OK, here also you can download or this will redirect to the to the Microsoft uh, official site, Microsoft.com ENUS download. If you come here, you can download the latest version. And um, so these all all the new updates which they have given and uh, these are the comments. So I request you uh, to go through this detail in detailed explanation what exactly how this is and you can also do your hands on by just uh, getting the visuals and trying the ones okay uh, so the description of this um, september updates right this also will be provided in the description box and you can just get this link from there thank you all for watching this thank you